Well, it is no secret school districts are really struggling with COVID concerns as students head back to class. That's why parents faced off in Paulding County tonight. Natisha Lance has a story. I'm here because I have a 76 year old mother in law who lives in the community. Dueling rallies faced off in Paulding County Friday, clashing over the best way for students to learn during a COVID outbreak. Josh Plancher raised his concerns for in-person instruction. He was outnumbered by another group pushing for it. It's our right to deserve a proper education and digital learning just isn't it. North Paulding High School 10th grader Mariah Krakowski says being back in the classroom is better academically, socially and mentally. Plancher is not completely opposed to in-person learning, but feels serious change need to be made. I like to see a pause in general and, and I, I just like to hear a very public conversation about how we can take care of our community better. Some parents created another strategy to keep school doors open. A woman on Facebook shared a public post from what appeared to be a closed Facebook group. We can't independently verify the comments, but the group encourages parents to keep their kids at home if they get sick. In its first week of school, the Paulding County School District reported nearly 60 total COVID-19 cases. About 30 of them were cases in school or confirmed cases of staff and students who spent time on campus. North Paulding High School closed for virtual learning for five days after reporting nine positive cases. Families at the rally understand the risk and say everyone should be able to decide on their own. If you want to stay home, stay home. And if you want to go to school, go to school. Starting on Monday, students at North Paulding High School will move to a hybrid schedule. It will include virtual and in-person learning there.